Hey LEGO fans, it's John here from JB Bricks. You can follow everything we do at jbbricks.blogspot.com. And today, here I've got a LEGO Ultra Agents mock to um, show you guys. Um, this is based off of the LEGO Legends of Chima Lavertis' Twin Blade set. And um, yeah, I think the way this came out is really cool. Um, now, there may be a couple things you notice about the lighting, the lighting and stuff. Um, we are working on trying to perfect our lighting too much better. Um, we, um, I put in some um, brighter bulbs, but um, since Black Friday is coming up, we're get, we're gonna be looking for a um, bright bright light. Sorry, I'm a little congested, so I sound so um, I might be sounding a little different, but uh. Yeah, let's get right into this. This is based off Lavertis's twin blade. Um, I was first just transforming Lavertis's twin blade. I always liked the design of Lavertis's twin blade, so I just took it to a whole nother level. I was just redoing it, and I decided I was using so much of my Ultra Agents car. That I was just going to make this Ultra Agents. Let me go grab the rest of my Ultra Agents car. I'll be back in a couple seconds. So, here is what's left of my Ultra Agents car. I will put a link to that review in the description box below. So, um, yeah. Um... Then, so, what I found most helpful in transforming this was take one piece off, go find it in the other color you want it, put it on, and do that over and over again. Here are all the pieces, well, not all of them, but mainly the parts that are swapping colors out. Four. Those are the parts that are left. So, um... Yeah, let's get right into the features. This does have the Lavertis' twin blade spinning rotors. And in the video, you can clearly kind of see the blades spinning. But in real life right now, to me, as I'm recording this, you, can, you can't see them. And you can kind of actually, if you get it just right, you can feel some air. Um, I kept the function intact because I thought that was awesome. Now, if this um, in like a game or something, it would look something a lot more like this. Um, but I decided to keep the function intact just because it was cool. So um, yeah, this video would have been done about a day earlier if I wasn't having rotor problems. In replacing some of the parts, I um, got the rotors wouldn't spin very long. So um, yeah, this video would have been out a day earlier. But um, yeah, um, it is piloted by Solomon Blaze. Um, and um, yeah, um, it's got its motor back here. I kept this part intact so it can hold it. Well, I did change the color. So it can hold his blaster. Um, dually cannons out on the um, wings I think look really cool. Then I've got turrets on the new ball and socket joints. for So that he can get a better range. And they are long range precision guns. Um... It does have the heads-up display on here. Right there. It's on the inside. You're supposed to put it on the outside, but I put it on the inside because technically Solomon Blaze would be seeing it from the inside, not the outside. So, um, yeah, and that looking right at him from the front looks pretty cool. Um, I think that's just a really cool look, especially if you get those rotors going. That just looks awesome. Um, I did have a couple problems right here trying to figure out what I was going to do. I was playing around with these pieces and found one of these, this part, 
And I'm like, hey, that works perfect for a side panel. So then I did that side panel. And I added these. Otherwise, just a very successful mock. Let's get a look, up close look at the cockpit there. The cockpit is mainly con Oops, sorry, I got my hands in the camera. <laughs> Comprised of that count console, which is from the Ultra Agent's car. One stick like helicopters I think have and Solomon Blaze. We'll take an up close look at him in a couple minutes. Um yeah. Um very cool. Let's take a look at Solomon. So if you're not familiar with the uh um if you're not familiar with the uh oh what is it? If you're not familiar with the um gar or uh if you're not familiar with the um oh what is it? It's one of those space themes. Um Solomon Blaze this is him. Find out more in the Ultra Agents um, car review. I'll, again, I will put a link in the description box below. Um, so this is Solomon Blaze. Exact same one you get with the car. I did not include a bad guy with this one because I thought it was unnecessary. But, um, yeah, I was just trying something there. But, um, yeah, he does have his double angry, kind of angry, and the smiley. Um, I did not discover that he... I discovered that he had two heads after I got the set. <laughs> he does have a little patchwork on his leg. But, um, yeah, he's got the little Ultra Agent symbol. That's kind of a gold... He has a gold tie. I don't think I noticed that before. Gold tie. He must be rich or something. He must be like a millionaire or something. But, um, yes. So this has been my Levert, or this, my Ultra Agents Twin Blade mock. This is based off Levertus's Twin Blade. I think this is really awesome. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let us, let me know what you think about this. And, um, again, we are working on our lighting to make it better. So every review you will see from us upcoming, the light for at least, a, well, may, it's probably going to stay the same till sometime after Thanksgiving. Like, the first review you see after Thanksgiving is probably going to have our new lighting. That we'll probably pick up a light on Black Friday. But, um, yes, the main, the sets you need to make this, if you think this is awesome, the Ultra Agents car, again, I will put a link in the description box below, and when I post this on our blog, jbbricks.blogspot.com, I will um, put a link to where you can buy the Ultra Agents car and Lavertus's Twin Blade so that you can make your own, because I think this is really cool. Um, so yeah, I think I covered everything. Um, yeah, so we hope you enjoyed this, um, mock, we hope you subscribe, and we always enjoy hearing other people's thoughts in the comment section below, and make sure you give the video a thumbs up, or a thumbs down on the video, and, uh, yeah, we hope to talk to you again soon at JB Bricks.